Howdy folks, in this short video I want to demonstrate damping in between notes with the left hand, which is explained in my beginning bass instruction course, but I just thought a video might help you understand it a little bit better to see it actually take place. So if you're playing a normal bluegrass song with two bass notes per measure, as is shown on, let's see, uh, page 34 of the book. It shows uh, train 45 in the key of G. So you're alternating on a G chord like that. And then the final measure, you get a D and a G. So that's shown on page uh, 34. Now, if I played that without the left hand, it's all open strings. If I played that without a left hand, you'll see that the notes ring together. What we want to do with damping is to create a little bit of separation between the notes. So I'm going to use my left hand like a little pad here where I'm, I'm not really pressing the strings down hard enough to create a different note, like I don't want to be down that tight. I simply want it to be touching. So if I play the string, you don't really get anything. This is the damping mechanism. Open. Damp. The damping cuts off the note. So when I play a note, I can allow it to ring for as long as I want to, and then my left hand will cut it off. Stops the note. Stops the sound. So if you're playing along two quarter notes, a pattern like that, you're simply going to alternate and touch the strings, just lightly touch them. Cuts, creates a little separation between the notes. Now there is a little bit of damping that automatically takes place with your right hand too because if I play the first string you'll see that my index finger is landing on the second so that is quieting the second and the side of my hand is touching the other three strings so only the first string can ring anyway. So I really only, only need to damp the first string and cut it off. Now if I were to play that string twice in a row, you don't need to damp at all with the left hand because touching the string with the right hand will cut off the previous note. So if I'm playing a note and I play it again, I have to obviously touch the string that stops the previous note. So the right hand also has a role in damping. But this, this left hand, that if you, if you just sort of lay your fingers across the neck like a pad, and you can go all the way across if you like, you just want to be real comfortable and just pat. And that patting sound the cutting off of the note will align with the mandolin player's offbeat chop or the strum of the guitar player. So you're going boom. When the mandolin goes chuck, that's when you stop. So you're alternating. You're now I'm slapping it kind of hard here. This does not alter the note that you play. They're still quarter notes, but you're just putting a little bit of separation in between them. That keeps the notes from overlapping, because if you have overlapping bass notes, you're going to have a muddier sound. If one note is ringing while some other note is played, then you've created harmony, and they may not sound good together. So if they're separate distinct notes, 
They can be disharmonious, two notes following each other that are not in harmony, but they sound okay because you've separated them. You let them ring together and you get mud. So damping is simply a way to clean up your play, to put spaces in between the notes. So I'll just play what's there on page 34. Tell you one little quick story. One time I was recording some bass in a studio situation and the engineer came running in and he's looking at the bass and tapping and he said there's something going on with that bass that's making a bunch of racket. And after um, he had me play a little bit we figured out what it was. It was on my damping. My wedding ring was hitting the side of the, the neck. So you know if you're slapping so hard that your, your ring is tapping, you might get away with that in a jam session, but if you're in a studio situation and you need a really good, clean sounding bass line, you might need to take your ring off so you have no danger of making that tapping, clicking sound. However, I will tell you, I have at times deliberately done that tapping to try to emphasize the offbeat a little more. Especially if there is a mandolin player who is not too good at offbeat chops, sometimes I'll try to drive that home by a little bit of tapping on the side, but I generally, generally try to avoid the ring sound. So that's a little bit about your left hand damping.